Hey everybody, Noah from Kayak Anglers. It's tournament week and I just want to talk to you about the live leaderboard system that we're going to use this year. I want to run you through the registration and submitting fish and just show you some basic things about it as we get uh, approaching the first event here. So first, let's talk about registration. It's a really important part because if you're not registered, there is literally no way to get your fish into the system. And that doesn't just mean uh, you know, those folks who are out on the water are not going to be able to submit. It also means that the folks who are coming in with their camera cards are not going to have a place to put their fish either. So first and foremost, make sure you get registered. All you need to do is go to kayakfishingseries.com and choose kayak anglers. And then you're going to pick the individual event where you're trying to register. So you need to register for each event. Once you're in, it only takes a second though. So this is your event specific information, it has a map, link to the rules. Um, you know, this is where you'll come back later on and look at the results, uh, you know, and all that good stuff. So registration. Okay. Now the list that you see here is everyone who's registered for this particular event. So if I'm not on this list and I want to go to the event, I need to click register now. And I've got a choice to submit myself as a new angler, or if I'm already in the system, I can simply scroll down, pick my name, hit register, and I'm done. So it takes a second. Now, for a new angler, just a few pieces of vital information. You're gonna choose individual only for the kayak angler series, and then you're gonna hit submit my registration. And that's gonna add you to that list that we just uh, looked at. So, that's the registration piece. Now, if you want to submit your fish on your mobile, and I highly suggest doing that just because it gets it into the system right away, what you, what you should do tournament morning uh, to get yourself ready is you should get yourself on the page where you're going to be submitting your fish. So again, click on kayak anglers, Pima tuning, and submit fish. So, we just looked at this list of everyone who's registered. The submit fish form has a drop down menu of everyone who's on that list. So if I wanna submit my fish, all I do is pick my name and hit add your catches. You pick the species of the fish, you put the length in. Now, keep in mind, everyone can see this length. Um, know the length of the fish before you go to enter this fish into the system. You know, the thumbnail that pops up might not be big enough to tell, so just know the fish. Uh, I suggest doing it right after you catch the fish so you remember. So you're gonna put the length in here, in inches, down to the quarter inch. You're gonna choose a file. It's gonna jump to your um, gallery for your phone. And you're gonna pick your fish. It's gonna tell you it's uploading. And as soon as it's done, it becomes green. It says image successfully uploaded. So you can put in another catch. You can put in more than one at a time if you want. It's just going to duplicate this information here. When you have your fish in there, scroll down to the bottom and hit submit your scores. It's going to get darker. Don't hit it twice. Just give it a second. And what it's actually doing is scaling that photo down. So if you want to speed this process up, you can scale the photos down that your phone takes automatically and it'll make it a little bit quicker for you. So you end up on this page, it tells you that your uh, catch has been you know, added and you can very easily go back to submit fish when you catch your next one. So that's from your mobile. Same stuff when you come in from the day and be sure to come in a half an hour early and you know, be in line and ready to go. We'll have a PC there, we'll have an iPad, a couple different ways for you to get your photos off of your uh, phone or your uh, camera with your camera card. Bring your cords, that helps us out a lot. And you're gonna go through the same steps. You're just gonna hit submit fish. You're gonna pick your name. Hit add your catches just like you did it on the phone. So, like I said, important to get registered. Make sure you're on that list. Um, we're not gonna be able to do that the morning of the tournament. And you know, it's, a hectic, it's hectic enough as it is before and after the tournament. So. Um, sure to get registered in there, you know, get your fish in there real time makes it a lot of fun you Can check out how other people are doing they can see how you're doing and it just makes for a great, you know, fun competitive atmosphere out there
So any questions, let us know ahead of time, and we'll see you on the water Saturday.